have just wrapped up a KGFX Hometown Tour series at High Moor, and we have joining us uh, for this video interview here today two different ladies from High Moor, uh, Sandy Henniger and also Carrie Stevenson. Uh, these two ladies are with an organization called Steps of Hope, which is a great organization for the High Moor area and uh, works to help uh, those that are fighting cancer. Um, you've got a couple things going on here, ladies, uh, that are going to be taking place very soon. It's the uh, Tour of Tables event that will be coming up November 14th. Tell me about what you're going to be doing. The Tour of Tables event started four years ago. We uh, decided this would be a uh, good fundraiser for the Steps for Hope. Um, this will be our fourth uh, year, and it's held at the High County Memorial Auditorium. It'll be uh, Wednesday evening, November 14th. Uh, it will start at 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, you can start coming in through to the doors at the auditorium at 5.30 to tour, take a tour of the tables. And uh, then the, the meal will start at 6 o'clock. And then we will have a speaker, Jerry Noctigo from Sioux Falls, will, speak, will be speaking with to us at, beginning at 7 o'clock. If you've never been to our tour tables, it's actually really quite interesting. Each table is decorated uh, differently, individually, um, anything ranging from a hunting theme to a birthday theme to Thanksgiving to snowmen. So it's kind of, that's why we let you in at 530, because it is kind of interesting to go around to each table and see the creativity throughout the community that people have put together. Get some table decorating ideas. That's yes. right, that's yeah. right. You bet. Um, and you don't stay idle too long because then you're going to start a Christmas event right after Thanksgiving too, right? A fundraiser? Each year at the courthouse uh, has a Christmas tree display and our group, the courthouse gang, uh, we decorate a tree and individuals can buy a bulb, which means that uh, I can go in and say I want to buy a bulb for, and my daughter did pass away from cancer, so for Heidi Blair. And she, and then when we make a decoration for her with her name on it, then we put that on the tree, and then we turn the bulb on. So her name is, um, her that bulb is her is her designation on the tree, and you can purchase those at the courthouse, and they're two dollars a piece. And um, then we have an open house at the courthouse. It will probably be we haven't decided on a date for sure yet, but the nineteenth of December, and we have um, people can come and, and go and have cookies and coffee and look at the trees, and we have up to 20 some trees usually. And but that, but our tree is uh, then the money from that goes to Steps for Hope also. Okay, very nice. I know you just had a day for a cure, and you're basically busy year round raising money to help local cancer victims. Uh, maybe you can talk a little bit, Carrie, about you raised forty seven thousand dollars last year. Uh, a good portion of that money stays right here, right? Yeah, it's, you know, we're, it's a community organization. So we are set up kind of like the, the Relay for Life, which most people are familiar with. And we have teams. So that $47,000, it comes from a host of groups throughout the community that have done uh, fundraisers, like what we're doing with the tour tables. And, of course, that night of the event, uh, there's a meal that is put on. There is uh, T-shirts that you can buy. There is bracelets that you can buy to support cancer. And, you know, we're a small town, and uh, you do have to travel, unfortunately, when you do have cancer treatment. So, you know, where the money is staying locally, it is helping, you know, our local, you know, our friends and family get the treatment that they need. And so, it, it, you know, it's great. It's, it's truly a community event where we have, like I said, you know, most of the businesses have teams, and there's individual families that have teams as well. You know, so like I said, the 47000 it's awesome for a town our size uh, to raise that money and to know that it's going to stay locally and help our so true. So uh, I guess final question for you ladies would be um, either A, if somebody wants to find out more about events that you have coming up, if they want to help, or B, if they know somebody that could be a, uh, a deserving recipient of some of this money, um, how do they contact you or what should they do? Uh, they can contact uh, the Steps for Hope directors. There, there are seven of us in the community. I am one of them. Uh, they can contact me. Uh, my number is 852-2510. Uh, I can give you a list of the other directors if you so want to put that out there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if they want to make an event, they just have an event and then the money is turned into the treasurer. And 
records are kept each year of, of the different events, how much they've brought in, and, and so by the end of the year, then, then each team has a, a total of what they what they have brought in for the for the year. All right. Well, there you go. Another good thing about Highmore. Uh, again, that was uh, all about the steps for hope. Carrie Stevenson and also Sandy Henninger joining us this time around with the Dakota Radio Group.